maybe if I want it's Lisa, I'll look half dead, but sorry. Um, I did two videos earlier on, um, consecrating your metrical tools and how to open and close a circle. I said on one of the videos that I will show you how I make my witch bottles or witch jars. All you need to get is, all you need is just like a, just a normal jar. Um, this one here is um, a jar for prosperity. Um, I put in some basil, cinnamon, um, and gin powdered ginger. I also made a pound sign out of green um, pipe cleaner. I put a gold piece of card and I put the Ace of Pentacles in. Some gold glitter and some coins. So that's basically how you make a um, prosperity bottle. Um, I've also attached my spell to the side of it. That like You say into the bottle. Some people put the spell inside of the bottle. I've put it on the side. Um, yeah, so um, I will, um, so basically that's all you need really, um, but I was watching a video on YouTube the other day about intense uh, intention bottles or jars from someone I subscribed to, I can't pronounce her name very well, but um, she's, um, we're going on about um, <coughs> putting all the stuff that you want to manifest within a year so you could put um crystals in like put an amethyst in if you want um to open up more psychically or rose quartz to bring more love in um you could put a um could you put anything in um herbs that represent what you want um, basil is like for money and prosperity. Um, protection you can you put sage in if you want some more, if you want some protection. Also, um, you can just basically put in whatever you feel is um, means. Like say if you wanted to make a um, a money jar, like a prosperity jar, to bring prosperity your way. What you would do is take your jar or whatever bottle you've got, um, put in what herbs represent money and prosperity. So I put in basil, cinnamon and ginger. Ginger will um, empower whatever you put into your jar and make it work faster. Um, or for prosperity, you could put in some money. If you live in America, put dimes in or maybe a dollar. Um, uh, maybe a tarot card or the ace, or an ace of cards. Do you know, playing cards, put one of them in there. Um, put anything in that you feel represents what you want to manifest. Like, say, if you want... So if you're making a love jar, you'd put probably some rose petals, maybe, um, a rose quartz, maybe a heart, a love heart. Um, anything that you feel represents what you want to manifest. So it's pretty easy how to make them. Also, once you've finished it, you could seal it with hot um, glue or wax, but wax don't seem to work. Um... Um, so just, well, you could tie some rope, ra rope, rope. <laughs> I mean, some, like, um, string around it. But after you finish putting all the, your stuff in that you feel is for what you desire to manifest, like love, you put all the things in that you feel represents love. Or if you're doing money, represents money. Like, if you want a new job, things in that you represent, that represents wanting a new job. I think you know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> Um, you can look online at the basic, like magical, like herbs and their meanings, and then you'll know what kind of herbs to put into your jar. So yeah, it's pretty easy to make them. Um, I did actually do a video on how to make this, but then it 
like kind of like crashed on me so I'm sorry about that but once I've got some more ingredients and stuff I will um, properly make one and show you but this is just a basic video about telling you how to make them and what to put into them not me showing you so basically you know what to do this is my prosperity jar it's a big prosperity like I said I've put um, herbs and glitter but next time I'm not going to put glitter in because it's um, not biodegradable so when I empty the jar um, once I've received what I've asked for um, you sprinkle your herbs the herbs that are in the jar like on the ground um, or in water or something like that but the um, glitter's not going to um, thingy so oh dear so yeah you can get pipe cleaner and do signs with that um, tarot cards like I've said I've put the ace of pentacles in to represent money and stuff and gold and you want to say your intent into the jar um, like a spell or something and then you want to close the lid tightly um, you can write it on a piece of paper the spell and then say it into the jar and then place the spell inside of the jar and then shut the jar really tightly and an entire <coughs> she has a tie string around it but I um, tied my spell to it and I've put it on the windowsill so the moon can go and shine in it and the sun so um, yeah um, so it's pretty easy to make them all you want to do is like I said, just put anything in the jar that you feel represents what you want to manifest. Like, love, you'll put, like, rose quartz in, like I said, and rose petals, maybe. Anything that you think represents what you want to manifest in your life, then that's what you put in the jar. So pretty, it's pretty basic, really, how to make them. Um, but I'm going to go in a minute and... Um, if you comment on my video and you want me to show you actually how to make them, properly making with me showing you what to put into the jars and stuff and what kind of jars you want me to make, um, and get back to me and I will show you how to actually put what stuff to put in and how I make it. But this is just a basic video on, on what I've put into my jar and how you can do it. Um, but get back to me and tell me what kind of jars you would like to see me make and I will show you once I've got the ingredients that is uh, well I've got all the herbs so um, it's just getting all the other ingredients so get back to me comment on my video and tell me um, what kind of stuff you want to come and manifest and then I will help you make it you can even message me, um, I'm on Facebook, um, just type in www.facebook.com forward slash proud Wiccan, that is Facebook, so if you add me on there, you can chat to me anytime and ask me about um, witch bottles or jars, just send me a message, um, subject witch bottles or something, and I'll get back to you and, tell, and I can tell you actually the stuff that you can put into the jar. Okay then, I hope you have a wonderful evening and best of be.